Okay, so we've got a great sounding track. It's indistinguishable from a live recording that was done in a professional studio, but we've done it inside of our living rooms. Now that is incredible enough, but the fun doesn't stop there. Now we're gonna jump over to the tracker panel and this thing is really, really cool. Here we can take multi-track drum sessions from you know loop masters or our own studios and enhance them, or we can replace those drums with the tune track drums. <laughs> it is incredible. It is one of the best features I've ever seen inside of a plugin. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so here we are inside of the tracker, and this is perhaps one of my favorite aspects of Superior Drummer 3. And it probably wouldn't be as good if I didn't have the Superior Drummer 3 core library to use it with, but this is just mind blowing. So what we can do here is actually import multi-track to drum recordings and Superior Drummer 3 will analyze those and give us the ability to either enhance those drums from the original recording or we can actually completely replace those drums using Superior Drum 3's core library. And I think the best way to get into it is just to go ahead and import some multi-track drums. So I've got some really great multi-track drum samples from a sample manufacturer called Drum Drops that I got from Loop Masters, and I think it's a good way to get started into showing you what the tracker can do. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click the Add button, and I'm gonna navigate to those samples. What you wanna do when you import your multi-track drums is just use the close microphones to each one of the drums themselves. So what I'm gonna do for this tutorial, just to keep it quick and simple, is just select the kick, the snare, and the hats. More often than not, Superior Drummer 3 is actually gonna recognize what is what and give me the update right down here in the sound recognition window. So here I'm on the kick selected and if I come down here it actually says kick. Now if it does a bad job at that I can go ahead and easily change it to whatever it was. For example if it was a snare I could change it here. Now the mix knob here is actually going to be the balance between the original sample and superior drummer samples. So if I go over here to 100% original we're going to hear just that original sample that I imported but if I go over to 100% superior drummer we're only going to hear the kick from whatever superior drummer sample I have loaded. So that's the superior drummer kick. And that's the original kick. And you can hear the snare in there and that has to do with the mic bleeding that we were talking about earlier in the video. So if I go back over to the superior drummer here, you'll notice that that bleed is gone, and that's because the program has chosen a really good velocity sensitivity amount down here. So right now, if I'm hovering over it, it says requires 50% of the sound to match. So if you look down here, we actually have a, a dot that is actually over the threshold. So let's go to that moment in time and see what it sounds like. So that's actually a tom, a floor tom, and that's not a kick, so if we wanna really keep this true to the original file itself, we gotta take this and bring it above that line. And you can see that it's now not highlighted. It's actually been dimmed. And if we go ahead and play the track now, you'll notice that that sample has been gone. And like things like this are just mind blowing. So right now I have the exact pattern of the kick drum from that original multi-track drum recording loaded up inside a superior drummer perfectly and I can go ahead and change it to whatever kick I wanted from their pristine collection of kick drums. Phenomenal. Now the hi-hats are a little bit more finicky than just your standard kick drum or your snare drum where you're just changing kind of the velocity but everything else is staying more or less the same because you have an open hi-hat, you have a closed hi-hat, and you have other articulations in and around there. And Superior Drummer actually does a really great job of detecting those different articulations from the file you've imported and making it sound for real using their own sample. So let's go ahead and check out what we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight to a full 100% mix from Superior Drummer samples. So you can hear there that there are three different types of articulations happening from this one imported hi-hat loop, and it's actually quite similar to the original. If I go ahead and play that same section of audio with 100% mixed the other way, you 
you can actually see that we are getting some mic bleed from the snare so if I wanted to pull it up a little bit we're probably gonna get a still a really clean sound with those hi-hats without the actual hits that are being registered from the snare drum so let's go ahead and try it again with 100% wet on the superior drummer side So super smooth. And let's say that I didn't want it to be multi-articulation. It'd be really easy to actually come in and come down here to the triggered articulation settings and choose what type of articulation I'm using. Right now I've got multi-articulations which allow Superior Drummer to make the decisions for me. And like I said before, it does a really good job at understanding the audio without me having to do too much work. Obviously, if I wanna get super crazy, I can get in and get in depth with it. But it's good to know that if you want it just to be as close hat the whole way through you can come in and just simply change the articulation setting inside of here so that's all samples from superior drummer that have been excavated from those actual multi-track drums from the drum drops library that I have and now what's really cool is we can come in and change the drum kit I'm gonna come in and let's choose one of these experimental electronical ones for example I mean, are you serious? That is just so dope. So I have the rhythm, I have the feeling of that human drummer, which Drum Drops has delivered for me, but I've been able to take it inside a Superior Drummer and make it something completely new. It's like its own thing now, but it's still got that human feel, and it was just so easy to do. I mean, that took us, what, five minutes or something? The whole point of this video is for me to showcase some of the great things that Superior Drummer 3 has to offer, and I think you'll agree with me that it has a ton to offer and like I've kept saying throughout this video, this is just scratching the surface of the possibilities of this program. I hope you're as excited as I am about Superior Drummer 3. You can find a link to it on Plugin Boutique in the description of this video. Click that link, check it out, get excited, get some professional studio level drum recordings out of your living room using this plugin. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.